Today, I want to share with you an exciting discovery that I've made that's gonna give you an extra 15 yards on your shots. My goal today is to show you exactly how to do it, a small change that's gonna give you massive results. Also coming up in this video, I'm gonna do a practical demonstration, so let's see how I get on. So this discovery is all to do with the wrists. Now you might wonder why I've got a hammer and a piece of wood. Well, the other day in our studio, I was knocking a nail into a piece of wood and I realized that I didn't have to hit that nail too many times for it to fly into the piece of wood and I did it with great accuracy. So that got me curious. And I started to figure out what is actually happening with my wrist, what's happening with my elbow that's allowing me to knock that nail into a piece of wood so forcefully and with accuracy. And what I realized was how my trail wrist was setting uh, when I was loading up the hammer. Now I thought, can I use this for golf? So then I thought, well, let's stand to the side and put this in my hand as though I was gonna knock a nail into the side of the piece of wood. And I realized that my wrist was doing exactly the same thing as it was doing when I was driving it in from the top. So I was really loading my wrist here. My elbow was in a really brilliant position that allowed me to hit a nail into the side of the wood with speed and with accuracy. So then I thought, well, I can't play golf with a piece of wood and a hammer. So I thought I'm gonna have to try this with a golf club. So what happens if you don't use your wrist then? Good question, Joe. So what I thought is if I don't use my wrist at all, I could push the nail into the piece of wood, but I couldn't really deliver any power. So if I wasn't using my wrist properly and I wasn't using my elbow properly, it was a very weak strike of the nail. Whereas as soon as I loaded my wrist correctly, I could have so much more energy. Do you know the weird thing about it is, like, you know when you're using your whole arm, you yeah. think you're gonna get more um, impact when you're using your whole arm, you're just actually not. So that's just gonna take a lot of effort to make you tired. It takes a lot of effort and no, no effect from it. Yeah. So what the heck's that? <laughs> I've made this for a reason, Joe. Have you got I too much time to... on your hands or <laughs> I think I might have. <laughs> I wanted to really see the relationship between my wrist and the club face, and sometimes the club's too far away. I couldn't really figure out exactly what was happening. So I made myself a little <laughs> golf club. I know I'm six foot one, but it isn't even that's a bit too small for me. <laughs> okay. If you get done, you won't get back up again. <laughs> I think you might be right. <laughs> so what I've done is I've, I wanted to put the uh, alignment tool on here and see exactly what was happening with my wrist, how the club face was moving, and then start to put the other hand on. But first off, I would just practice setting it into this position here. And I was just checking it. So my right wrist feels really loaded from here. But what I love about this is my club face is very stable. So when I keep bringing it back to impact, it keeps coming back to nice and straight. So my wrist is loaded and I can unload it. I could really see the relationship between my wrist and the club face. So then I put both hands on and all I was feeling was the, the movement of my right wrist. And what I discovered is my left wrist got into a really good position as well. They often talk about a flat left wrist. Now I wasn't deliberately trying to do that. That was seemed to be an effect of loading my right wrist up in a much better fashion. But then what I loved about this is when I brought it back to impact, everything was really solid and my club face was starting to point to target so much more consistently. So you're gonna show us now, demonstrate. Do I need to move, am I safe? You're very safe there, Joe. Uh, you might need some ear defenders. <laughs> For some reason, it just seemed to get louder. The, the better I moved the body, the better I moved the wrist, the louder the shot became. Uh, so I think, you know, less talk, let's see what actually happens. I would say before, I've just got an eight iron here. Um, so I don't want to kid any of you guys, you're all too clever for that. Um, my eight iron, a good shot for me before when I wasn't really using my wrists as well as I have done. I would say my lead wrist was a little bit straighter rather than at this angle here. I'd be quite happy if I hit it 150, 155 with an eight iron, that was pretty good for me. Um, but, as I promised, I think we can get a little bit more out of this. So I'm just gonna hit a shot for us. <laughs> That's 
quite staggering. So that one's just, that's gone 173 yards, um, which, and I didn't really feel I was hitting it particularly hard. I'm just amazed at how good the strike so show was. Show us what you were actually doing again then, I with will. your wrist. So before I used to kind of turn to here and cock my wrist, which was putting it in club in a pretty good position, but my wrist wasn't quite as set as it is when I feel that I'm knocking the nail in. So it feels a little bit more behind me, almost a sensation that the club is pointing slightly offline. But if I carried on turning, it'd be on a really good plane. But I love the fact that this wrist is fully loaded where I can unload it when I'm hitting the golf shot. So let's just hit another one. So again, I didn't really feel that I put a lot of effort into that one, but what's that carrying? Let's just see what that's carrying. Uh, 165 yards now. So say before I used to hit it about 150, 155, but that's carrying 165 now. So, and it just feels so effortless. So here, here's the thing, yeah? You know, we have to create things in our mind first. So yeah. um, if you really wanted to lock in this feeling of mm. your lifts as your wrist, you know, in the participating, yeah. It's a good idea to get the hammer and the nail because that's would, how you that's did how this. I, that's this is how, how I, you did this. Yeah. Yeah, what we're saying in the backswing is you need to imagine that you're knocking in the nail. Yeah, and that's exactly how it feels. But I'm knocking the nail into the side of the wood, so I'm not knocking it on top because we don't hit a golf ball that way. But it feels like I'm just knocking it into the side. Now, what I did incorrectly is when I was knocking the nail in this way, my thumb was on top. When I went to try and put it in the side, I'd put my thumb around the side, so that would have been incorrect. So I then went back to my correct grip and then felt I was knocking the nail in. But at the top of the backswing here, it just feels like you can hit it as hard as you want to or as hard as you're capable of. But then I did make another discovery. It's still so important to match this up with good body movement. So this on its own, will work, but if you match it up with good body movement, you have that effortless efficiency when you're hitting it as well. So not only has it got energy, you, you're matching up with good body, which helps with direction. So at proper golfing, we're all about changing habits. Absolutely. Right? Okay, so if you're used to, we say this all the time, if you're used to doing something one way, you're gonna have to put some effort in or some, um, you know, practice in to change that. Yeah. So if you really wanna change it, and do the hammering. Yeah, do, definitely do the hammer. Just try it. I mean, don't take my word habit. for it. It changes your pattern. It, it changes does. the way that you think about the swing, yeah? And you've got to interrupt that pattern to make a change. Absolutely, absolutely. So can I give it another go? <laughs> it's, it's so addictive. <laughs> it's so addictive. <laughs> I love it. Look at that, it's right down the line. But it's struck so pure. Where's it going? <laughs> <laughs> What's that one carries? That's carried that. even further. 167 carry, amazing. Do you know, I can see now why I don't see you anymore since we've got the studio. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're planning on trying this at home and you want to know whether you're doing it correctly or not, then by joining Proper Golfing, you can send in your swings for analysis and I'll be able to give you precise feedback. Proper Golfing members are having much more fun on the golf course, they're swinging more consistently and they're hitting the golf ball further and straighter. This happens as a result of over 300 videos in the library section. They also get a private invite to a members meeting that we host every two weeks. And we've also now have access to a chat room and a forum, which is proving really popular. So just a brief summary of what we spoke about in this video. Remember to make a change, you've got to change your habits. So get yourself a piece of wood and a hammer, start knocking some nails in and really figure out what's actually happening to your wrist rather than what you think's happening. Study it just like I did. Now I want to leave you with a very famous quote, don't get mad, get curious. <laughs>